Yeah, whenever, whenever you guys are ready. We're taking opportunities. Today, you're going to start a million times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, Brisbane's defence was brilliant. They, uh, yeah, they commanded the air, and I thought, um, yeah, we, we had chances that we potentially could have taken. But I, every time we had a, had a look at it, there was genuine pressure there, and they were they were you know they just were very very good in that space in the game, and probably you know I think they were you know, clearly well deserving victors. Um, you know, most of the the key numbers in terms of pressure were well in their favour, and I thought. Out of the blocks, they jumped us, and we were probably lucky to be square at quarter time. So, from there, um, yeah, we had our, as I said, we had our chances, but we weren't able to take. Yeah. Is that just rare final pressure? Yeah, I think ultimately um, you have to pay credit to the opposition, and they were, you know, they were very good, and the ability for them to absorb our pressure uh, and ours to absorb theirs, that balance swung in their favour. So. Uh, yeah, ultimately, um, you know, disappointing for us. Uh, to it's it's impossible not to be just so proud of the group for all they've put into the effort to get to this position, uh, but then to not be able to take the the opportunity that you create is you know obviously devastating for the for the players and and for everyone associated. To miss Chelsea, sort of, uh, the yeah, uh, to yeah, that's yeah. that's right. I mean, it obviously was. <laughs> Yeah, she's a pretty handy player. She would have been nice to have her out there, but the reality is, from Monday she was never going to be. So um, we had, uh, you know, you know, that's a what if. It's not one that we can really bother spending much time on, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last goal that uh, Brisbane got at the end of the third was, um, you know, pretty. Well, it, was, it made it tough. It made it tough. We needed four, and the way their defence had held up, it was always going to be challenging. We obviously, you know, asked the group to just take the game on and to play with um, with some dare, and and they did that. So, you know, all credit to them. But once again, um, through the, the, you know the great pressure of Brisbane, we weren't able to take opportunities when we did create them. So, when we got the first one early, I thought, well, you know, you never know. But um, uh, it was probably just a bit too far. Yeah, so you never. Uh, it's obviously hard in your mouth whenever they go down with a knee, but she's she'll get a scan tomorrow at 9:30, um, and hopefully from there yeah, we'll get some more clarity. But um, yeah, we don't know. This is the short answer. Uh, will do that initial ACL stuff. Yeah, so that's that's right. But until until the scans uh, come in, you you don't want to um, really speculate. From the moment Chelsea's obviously wanted her to take over as captain this week to heartbreak today. How is Ah, uh, she's she's pretty upset, uh, understandably. Uh, you know, the, I just said I just spoke to her re re before and said it's you know it's a big swing in 24 hours. Yesterday was um, that anticipation of, of of what could be and and the realization of you know so much hard work over many many years to, to lead her team out today, and then yeah, of course, um, you know, footy can be a bit cruel sometimes. The injuries uh, are probably the cruelest part of the game. So. Um, We'll, we'll get around her and support her, and obviously uh, we hope for the best, but we'll wait and see. What did Chelsea say in that three-quarter time? Rev up on the boundary. Whose idea was that? Uh, Aaron took, Aaron took uh, the group over to her, um, and I don't know is the short answer. Um, but uh, I know that she would have implored them to keep believing and to play it to the end, and they did that. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously, you know, a bit of pill when you get when you get beaten, but in the end, if if your team gives effort and gives everything they've got and are beaten on a day, then you have to dip your lid and and just you know accept that that's part of sport. Um, and when the stakes are high and it's the big stage, then clearly that hurts more. But it, it's sport, and uh, we were beaten we were beaten by a better team today. Aaron, such a big stage performer and quiet today by her fans. I mean, can the reveal was she? Carrying anything or um, no, she's had a tough. She's had a tough, uh, probably six weeks. Well, even even going back to the you know the Brisbane game in round four, uh, she's been managing her body and pushing her body beyond its limits, probably. Um, but she's such a competitor that uh, it's impossible to try and dissuade her from doing that. And uh, and so she's yeah, she's willing to she's willing to suffer for the team. Um, and yeah, she didn't have her day today, but um, you know she's 
forever a champion of our game. And, um, you know, that's even the champions have a, have a quiet one every now and then. Are you hoping she'll go around again? Yeah, I think, I mean, I'd like it to, I think particularly early in the season um, before, you know, she did sort of have to manage her body pretty heavily in the back half of the season. I thought the start of the season she was in great nick and was covering the ground and, and playing, able to play, you know, significant midfield minutes. Um, but obviously that's, you know, that's a decision for her to make every, you know, she's, you know, she's experienced enough to weigh up what's required to be at the level and then make that call in due course, but there's no urgency, there's no rush. What was it specifically that she was managing? Her knee, yeah, her knee, yeah. So, yep, uh, however many years running up and down basketball courts uh, does that to you. So, yeah, she's, uh, yeah, she has to deal with that. And her, the good thing for her this season was before Christmas, she was able to train, you know, a reasonable a reasonable amount. Um, she always is modified, but she actually got through a good block of training, and that set her up for the start of the year. But yeah, from halfway through the season, she was she was on pretty much. Yeah, I'm not sure she trained. <laughs> is, there, is there surgery required? Now? Uh, it, well, I think she's had a fair few, so she might. Yeah, we'll wait and see. I don't. Know. I don't know. Just to be good, that's the ACL for me. Well, she's got them both done, so yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not actually. I'm not sure. I'd be, I'd be speculating. Teddy, sorry. It's obviously early doors, but do you actually expect to lose anyone for the next year? Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll turn our attention to that in due course. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's, you know, it, it's a tough life to balance semi-professional sport with everything else that's going on in in life, and so. You know, each of our each of the players will have to assess that. You know, obviously, when you're young, you just get on and do it. As as the more senior players will obviously be making those assessments. But from our perspective, it's you know today is probably not the day to be worrying too much about that. Would you like a long season? Yeah. I think it's getting there. Um, yeah, I think it'll be an interesting discussion in terms of the placement of where it goes in the year. And these are all things which are great to be having a conversation around because I think the first to call obviously when the league was established was to create a product that was at the level that demanded um, the attention of the, of the public and, and we've certainly seen that this season's been unbelievably enjoyable to be part of obviously you want to win every week and you want to win the, the whole thing but just to see the growth of the game um, has been really you know really gratifying to be involved with and so now we get to have those sort of conversations around you know where can we go with this and I think um, the depth of talent, yeah, the, there's still some teams which are obviously, you know, um, struggling to match it with, at the top end, but that's the reality of, you know, any league. There's always, a, you know, teams that aren't quite there yet. But the, the next wave of talent coming through, and, and I think, you know, Brisbane's a classic example of that in terms of, um, you know, some of their young up-and-coming players are, are ready-made, re legitimate you know, stars. They've just won a premiership, so... Good on them, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. I think uh, I think we'll see ne we'll see ten games next year, and then beyond that, we'll we'll wait and see. Can this group climb the mountain again, or do you need to make some changes? Some yeah, I think every year there's an evolution. Um, you know, we we don't. I wouldn't see radical shift in in the list profile. Um, we we played some pretty good footy this year, and um, ultimately we fall fall a little bit short today. But uh, the it's a long way back, clearly, <laughs> but in terms of what needs to improve to to get over the line in, in a big game like this, um, it's not big. It's not huge shifts. It's just the unfortunate reality of um, 12 months of really hard work and and obviously, as I've highlighted just before, a competition which is getting better and better and better. So um, when you uh, when you're aware of that <coughs> scenario, to not be able to take the opportunity when it presents, that's you know that's why it hurts. That's why it hurts. Good. Thanks, guys.